next continuity feature in Mac OS Sierra is universal clipboard. Now, wow, gas. So, but I know copy and paste is so fundamental to the way that we use our Macs for so many years now. But what if when you were on even your iPhone and you found some text and you just went to copy it, that when you then went to your Mac, well, you could just paste it right in. And now you can with images, video, everything, completely automatic. Now I'd like to move on to iCloud, and specifically iCloud Drive. Now today with iCloud Drive, you can put documents into your iCloud Drive that you explicitly want to make available to you across your other systems, as well as your iOS devices. And customers have done quite a bit of this. There are actually 10 billion customer documents in iCloud Drive today. But we want to take this a step further. We want all of your documents and your desktop accessible to you everywhere. So that when you're on one Mac, maybe you're putting things in your normal documents folder, well, of course, those should be available to you on your other Macs. But you know, for 30 years now, we've all learned to do the work, the things that we're working on right now, well, where do we put those? So often it's on our desktop. So let's make our desktop available on our other Macs as well, and have those files be available to us on the go on our iPhones. Now you can. Next up, Optimized storage. You know, we love using our Macs and we fill them with so much stuff, but you can end up with a situation like this. And, uh, you know, what do you do about it? Well, it turns out we're going to give you a solution, and it works in two ways. First, it helps you make room for the files, that your new files, by keeping your older ones up in the cloud. So whether it's your full resolution photos, when your others are in iCloud Drive, or movies that you've already watched, in iTunes, or even those old mail attachments, we can clear off that space locally and make those things available to you on demand. But we also want to make it easy for you to get rid of files you'll never use again automatically. Things like your Safari web cache, and maybe the trash that you keep forgetting to empty, and redundant data that's stored by mail. Well, we can get rid of all of that as well. And we provide a really simple user interface to help you do it. Now, as a task, we took a system that was nearly full. It had about, let's say, 20 gigs free, and we put it through the paces. Now, it had a lot of photos and a lot of documents. It had movies that were already watched, mail with lots of attachment, apps, system files, and so forth. And we turned on all the switches for optimized storage, and we went from 20 gigs free to 150 gigs free. So we think this is going to make a big difference for all of you.